up, everybody? It's Grim, your YouTube wrestling figures heavyweight champion, coming to you today with my raw reaction for the April 27th, 2015 episode. And people are pissed! Worst catchphrase ever! Get the fuck up. Why are people pissed? Because Booker T, Fiddle D times 45, Santa Line, I think he was being innocent about, but what the hell? Tell me you didn't just say that. Oh, my God. I don't even want to repeat it. So they're talking about the king of the ring, right? And, and you know, I am the king of the ring dings, in case you were wondering. <laughs> they're talking about king of the ring. They're talking about previous winners. They're talking about Neville possibly winning king of the ring. Spoiler alert. Not going to happen. And what happens? They're like, this would be the first time a high flyer has ever been king of the ring. And Michael Cole's like, well, Owen Hart was a high flyer. Yeah, but he didn't defy gravity. Like, I, I swear to God, why didn't they just walk out and fire him? <laughs> I didn't think he was trying to say, like, Neville defies gravity and that's his gimmick. But, but, God damn it, Booker T! What are you doing, dude? I think, honestly, God, it was just live, and they were just talking, and he was just trying to put over Neville. And, and, and I'm in Booker T's corner here, because I love the dude. But, oh, it was the face palm of the century! Booker T! Ah, don't ever talk about Owen like that! Oh, my God. Can you imagine if Booker T was a YouTuber and said something like that? Unsubscribe! Oh, my God. All right. So let's get on to Raw. Uh, Raw was good. Raw was not great. Ah, Graham, you suck WWE's dick. You always think that Raw's good. Well, if it was fucking shit. I mean, you know what? Raw would be fucking shit. There's no matches. Nothing happens. And they did something stupid like make David Arquette the world heavyweight champion. Then I would say Raw was shit. But no, Raw was good. I, I like Raw. I enjoy the action. It was just a standard week of Raw. Opening segment. Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, cocaine, blah, 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 resulting in a fan vote to see what the main event of Pay Bitch is gonna be. Cause at Pay Bitch, bitches are gonna pay. And Rollins is gonna pay for what he did to Randy Orton at the Extreme Rules, screwing him over for the belt. So of course we're gonna get Randy Orton in there. But does Roman deserve a shot? Do you think if they really put it up for the people to vote? That they would vote Roman Reigns into this triple threat match? Nope! Too stupid! Why do you think we're so stupid? At the end of the show, they reveal it's going to be a triple threat match at Pay Bitch. And Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Randy Orton are all going to be in it. Bullshit! <laughs> Fail. We're not stupid. We all know that the fan votes are a work. <sighs> It makes Graham mad. You know what else made me mad? They have this bracketing for the King of the Ring, which is awesome, by the way, that they're going to have the King of the Ring tournament again. And then they have Dolph Ziggler go up against Bullshit Barrett. And what happens? Sheamus costs Ziggler the damn match. People were pissed. Everybody thought that Dolph Ziggler was going to win this thing. Nope. He's out the first round. Bye-bye, macaroni main. He's out of there. So, I don't know. Sheamus wins. Sheamus was already the king of the ring. He shouldn't even be allowed in the damn tournament. Big E beats Tyson Kidd in a match. But the funny part of this match had nothing to do with the match. It had to do with the end. You have the New Day, who are the new tag champs, unfortunately. They're holding up Big E on the stage. If I could only give you the visual of Big E being held up one leg by Kofi and one leg by Xavier. And he's like... Pfft. It was the most awkward looking thing. I'm like, why are they showing this on national television? Apparently, Bray Wyatt has been planting the seeds for a feud with Ryback. Why does Bray Wyatt just target people for no reason? Especially a big meathead like Ryback. Are you too stupid, Bray? Apparently, Ryback, who also deserves a push, much like Bray, is going to be buried by Bray because they need to make Bray look good for a fucking change, right? So Ryback crushes Bo Dallas, and Bray is like, Booster bitch, don't touch my brother. And comes out and slaps the shit out of him, as only Gay Wyatt can do. Gay Wyatt, Ryback feud coming up. I'll take it. I like both those guys. Next bracketing for the King of the Ring was R-Truth versus Stardust. And I want to see King Stardust, because... <laughs> 
king, cosmic king, cosmic cock. Wouldn't that be funny as hell, Stardust becoming cosmic king? <laughs> Fail. I mean, I love me some R-Truth, but R-Truth just beat Stardust. What's up? R-Truth moves on to the next round. Nobody cares. People are pissed. Not me. I like our truth but I would have preferred Stardust in this situation. Apparently, Rosa Mendez helps Adam Rose defeat Fandango. Is this the first time Adam Rose has ever won a fucking match? People were like, it was like when The Undertaker lost his streak, like, Adam Rose won a match? <laughs> Adam Rose is now with Rosa Mendez, and they start making out in the middle of the ring. And I'm like, yeah, this is like Edge and Lee, the live sex celebration, except it was when Edge won the damn title. Finally, Adam Rose wins a match, and he's gonna fuck Rose in the center of the ring. Now this is PG. <laughs> Cut out. Dolph Ziggler didn't do himself any favors helping Sheamus beat Dean Ambrose by DQ and advancing into the King of the Ring tournament. Once again, like I said, Sheamus has already been the King of the Ring. Get that fucking rooster bitch out of here. And everybody loves Dean Ambrose. Everybody wanted to see King Dean Ambrose, even though I don't think it fits his gimmick very well. But it didn't fit Stone Cold's gimmick. He's still one King of the Ring. But anyhow, Dolph Ziggler, what are you doing, man? You're making yourself look like a bitch. You could have beat up Sheamus after the match. Dumb people were pissed. Worst catchphrase ever. Shut the fuck up. There was this hilarious segment with Damian Sandow and Axelmania, or what the fuck is his name? Curtis Axel hurt his asshole, something like that. Right? <laughs> Damian Sandow's talking about all his failed gimmicks in the past, and he's going to move on to the future, and Axelmania's like, well, let me tell you something, brother. And I'm like, yeah, Axel's doing the same thing Damian was doing a year and a half ago. <laughs> Anyway, are these two gonna feud now? Damien Sandow made Axel look like an asshole. It was funny as fuck. Everything that Axel would say, Axel would be like, Damien Sandow, what you gonna do, brother? Sandow's like, what you gonna do, brother? <laughs> Making fun of him. It was great until it started getting physical. Then it shit the bed and the segment failed. But the beginning of it was good. And it was awesome to see the elbow of disdain return. Hopefully, the real Damien Sandow is... King of the Ring action, Neville defeats Harper, thank God! Neville is awesome, and I was really worried that they were going to have Luke Harper win, and nothing against Luke Harper, I like him too, but Neville could be awesome, Neville could be king! And then this is the match where, where Booker T said his his comment, and we don't want to talk about that no more, because I, I don't like talking about it. But um, Neville wins, Neville's going to be in the WWE Network going for King of the Ring, I'd like to see Neville win, but my money's on Barrett, unfortunately, if you guys want to mark that down. But I would take Neville winning because that would be cool. Main event time. And we got Rollins and Kane versus Orton and Roman Reigns. Nobody cares. It's like, how do you get to the main event of the fucking show and everybody changes the damn channel? <laughs> Second face palm of the evening, right? But the most notable thing that I saw here was Rollins goes for a suicide dive and I don't know who was supposed to catch him. Nobody caught him. Motherfucker was like, ah! flat right under the floor. I think Kane was right there. Kane should have caught him. Should have been like, you know, one of those botch spots where, you know, the tag partner takes out his own partner. No. <laughs> Rollins flat on the floor. And then what happens? He gets hit with the Superman punch. He gets hit with an RKO. One, two, three. Good night. Seth Rollins gets pinned in the middle of the ring by Roman Reigns. And then they reveal the big man event that you supposedly voted for. No, you didn't. It's going to be the triple threat of payback between Rollins, Reigns, and Orton. Which should probably be a cool-ass match. And who knows who's going to win. We'll get into that in the future. But I want to know what you guys thought of Raw. Did you think it was awesome? Did you think it was shit? Or did you think it was just meh? Like I did. Let me know down in the comments below. And I thank you guys for watching my Raw reactions every Tuesday night right here on this channel. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more of your YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion. Grim is out. Wait a minute. Where was John Cena? What did John Cena do? He issued the US Open Challenge and Heath Slater answered. But then Rusev threw him off the stage, and Rusev went blah, 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 and then, and Cena didn't even have a match. All right, so I just realized pretty much one of the only things that happened on Raw that I didn't talk about was the Divas match, and it's because I was peeing! But guess what? If I talk about everything and not the Divas match, Paige is gonna be pissed! So, let's see. Naomi defeats Bree, and 
And looks like Naomi's getting that push again for the Divas belt. Paige is going to be pissed. Probably they'll give Naomi the Divas belt. And then Paige pissed is going to return and take the belt from Naomi or at least feud with her over it, right? That's what I would imagine. All right, guys, I thank you all for watching my raw reaction. Now, Grim is out. Bye, else. <laughs>